Chef Carmen is back at home in Houston with her wife. They are enjoying breakfast and a little intimate moment here. Then they're going to get into it, okay? They came across their post or posts, multiple posts that Darius Cooks put up yesterday in reference to them, and they have some things to say about that. Check it out and let me know your thoughts. I thought you guys broke up, but I'm glad to see you together. I love you both. See, you, believe me what y'all say on the you, internet. You got to stop listening to the people that are not the people. We are the people, don't you think? So if you want to hear something and you want to hear the truth, you actually have to come to the people to get it. To get it. The people. The people. Not the people. The people. I seen a whole post came through my timeline by the Airbnb. I, that that's been up for so long. My that Airbnb. Post, my Airbnb was up before you met me. Was up since and we've already addressed this before. But my Airbnb was up since twenty twenty one. And it's still there. And it's going to stay there. Because I'm not changing that listing. And, you know, we... Why? Are, you have to pay to relist it and start It's just a up. headache to put those pictures back out, to do the profile, all of those things. So, eventually, we will I'm be... To, but why Why is it... Why are they so concerned? I don't know. I, I do not know. I mean, we go out of town for like a month like we used to. We definitely can Airbnb it. I mean... And... You know, here is the thing. If people are doing Airbnb, what is wrong with that? I'm just, I mean, I'm Airbnb because I like to keep extra, extra in my pocket. So when I was, and I've done Airbnb before, and I don't see anything wrong with it. It's my house. I can do what I want with my house. Uh, and when I say my, I'm not saying not calling it. It's just my house. I can do what I want with my house if that's what I choose to do. I and mean, I don't see why other people are concerned. We will eventually be relocating out of this house. And the whole house would be Airbnb. And AB said you have to look at the messy person it came from. Yeah, I mean, why, why is she even worried about it? And then always saying we're not together. Why don't you get together with someone? I mean, you know what? Last night we actually, like, we've been done this so much scrutiny, so much, so many lies, just so much. It really did feel, we had a great time last night. It felt good coming home, being home, knowing. Hold on real quick. Jess, that is totally different. I think people were just concerned because you said Rico couldn't live with you, but then they found out that you allow strangers to stay with you. Okay, first and foremost, Jess, I'm going to say this. Somebody living in your house full time is way different than somebody being there for a couple of days. That's that's first and foremost. Secondly, Rico had a whole apartment. Now they trying to get him one. Right. He had a whole apartment, a car, <laughs> a vehicle to drive. So when Tay and I got together, newlyweds, of course, we discussed it. We did not want anyone living with us full time. Still don't. Do anybody want any uh, anybody live? You'll help people along the way, but do you want anybody full time? So the arrangement that we had with, with him, with Rico, is he'd be here forever. So we made accommodations, got him his own place, and gave him his own vehicle. So anybody that wants somebody to live in their house with them and their husband and them and their kids full time, y'all go right ahead and do that. Especially a new person, you haven't. You can do what you want in your home. Just like we'll do what we want in our home. So, yes, and Rico had a job as well. Mm -hmm. So And he enjoyed having his own space and his own place. Yeah. And so it was just, you know. And the thing about it is people rent out their cars. People do all type of stuff. Now they So why is it a problem just because we do it? I've been doing Airbnb. I was making 10 grand a week and was doing Airbnb. You Do you understand? I was making, I was making ten grand a week. Babe, keep asking me a spoon, please. I mean, you know, we mind our business, but he can't mind his. He cannot. If people can't understand why newlyweds don't want someone living oh, yeah. with them, they aren't too smart. Right. <laughs> this is molasses, baby. You pass me a spoon, please. Mm -mm. But you know, that's the thing. Like it's something. It's different. And then I control 
the comings and goings. So, like I said, I'm making 40 grand a month while I was working COVID. And guess what? I still did Airbnb. Nothing wrong with multiple streams of income. They need to take note. Listen, Sequain, I'm trying to tell you. And my grandma is the first one who put me Somebody on Somebody say he, he doesn't talk about y'all. What are you talking about? Of course he talks about us. Well, first of all, I don't know who they talking about. And secondly, if they talking about that person who I think, there was just a whole live yesterday about us. Lot. I mean, you can tell when someone come on live and they want to talk about us. I mean, they chomping at the bits. He probably made it 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to his life. Then here comes Chef and Tay out of his mouth. Why? I, I mean, why? Why are we so important to you? Because you eat off us like everybody else. We just, just go ahead and say that. Because we know that's what the case is. She wasn't talking about him and... Let me touch. Ooh, that's some strong syrup. But it's really interesting to me. Like... What is what is the issue? I don't, I don't understand. Y'all are giving him exactly what he wants. Others want. Don't address it. Somebody publicly puts your house, your address out, and you don't address it. Okay. We don't address a lot of things, but some things we are going to address. And, uh, you know, I mean, y'all ask the same question. Y'all be able to have them lives. Why do you care? Leave them alone. You know, and that, that should be, you know... Cause y'all see this, y'all 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 can see a lot of things going on, and if y'all see us doing wrong, tell us. Y'all see these other people doing wrong, let them know. You leave them alone. You know we don't we don't post people homes. We don't we don't get up here and dog people out. You know I know something went down and I showed a phone number because they kept blowing up my phone online one time. Those, those are things that, that I've done that I wish I would have never done. You know, learning. Just somebody, I'm live and they keep calling my phone. So, you know, I got to take that. I got I to gotta stand in it. I, if I had to do that all over again, I would never do that. But to just intentionally post someone's home and talk about their Airbnb and, and that we're, we, we're married. But to say we're not together, they, you know, just because I'm out of town working, it's, it, it, a lot of times it becomes a lot. It's just like, you know, if your husband or wife is in the military, they'd be gone for years at a time, months at a time. You know, I was away working. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's about right here that Chef Carmen notices a comment from a viewer pulling her cart for her saying that we should call out things when people um, do wrong. It was a live that was done. I will not be posting a clip of that live at all. And Chef Carmen reveals some things about Darling Nikki that I definitely think was below the belt and it was wrong. I can understand the whole thing of all is fair and war and, you know, finally responding and retaliating. I get that. And I always say out of my mouth, like, it really ain't no rules in war. Like, once you start a fight, you can't dictate how a person responds. And that I agree with. But in the same breath, you know, having boundaries and morals like for me personally some things I'm just not going to do I'm just not going to go that far but let's go ahead and see what she had to say oh my goodness says chef it's not right the things that you're putting about about darling Nikki too was wrong no it ain't wrong that she been dragging me and my wife on this internet how is that wrong I you know Tate would never say something like that but I put it out and that I'm not sorry for for putting that out because she's done so much against us. So what I said about Nikki is wrong. But all the things that she said about me, forget that. Yeah, we are great people. We are. We are awesome people. We are. And you, you look at the people that attack us on the daily. And when, when we respond back or when I respond back, respond back, Tay did. I did. I said those things. I don't take them back. I stand on them. She want to come on the internet and feel like she can drag somebody or she could say more. What? Tell more lies? Why don't you go on with your life and leave us alone? And that would have never came out. Because we let you talk for weeks and weeks and we ain't say nothing. So when I said what I said last night, I meant what I said. She can do whatever and he can do whatever. They can do whatever they want. But when we respond, you know that's wrong, chef. No, the fuck it ain't.